Disclaimer, this video has been worked on for weeks before Nintendo revealed the Switch slash NX. What is shown in the video is what I thought the Switch was going to be, and not what Nintendo revealed to us. Luckily, the concept behind both the product in the video and the Switch are similar. With that out of the way, enjoy the video. Hello guys, this is The Last Creeper here, and if you're like me, you've been wanting Nintendo to reveal the NX for quite some time now. I mean, it's October and we still have no other information besides the codename. Actually, wait, when was the first time Nintendo mentioned to us the NX for the first time? Hmm. Wait a minute! I remember! March of 2015! That's over a year! I would say that's like seven months and a year. Wow. I totally understand how much you guys really want Nintendo to reveal something. And you know what? I get it too. So today, I think that we can ease the weight a little bit with my new solution. So we're going to be making a whole main Nintendo NX based off of all of the rumors and patents that you have seen for the past few months. And it's not going to be anything complicated because I don't have a 3D printer. No one really does. You know what? We're just going to do this for fun, right? Because... Nintendo might reveal something far different. It might not even be a handheld console hybrid. It might just be like a game system. I don't know. Anyways, enough of the chit chat. Here are the materials that you'll need. You will need a Wii U. A Wii Remote. A 3DS. Now, I have the new 3DS. And I recommend using the old model since it doesn't have the SD card slot on the side. A copy of Smash 3DS. And a copy of Smash Bros. Wii U because as of this video it's the only Wii U game that allows you to use the 3DS as a controller. A 3DS to USB charging cable. Now I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get one. Masking tape. Now, I have blue masking tape, but white masking tape works well. A label sheet. Now, you're only going to need one of these, but that's a full sheet. A SD card. Doesn't matter if there's data on it or not. And a marker, like a Sharpie. It's very important that you use something like this, so you can see it better. So first, before you do anything crazy, rip a small piece off of the tape and write the words NX on it, like so. This is to make sure we have the Nintendo NX logo on our systems, so they're not just the 3DS and the Wii U. Anyways, do this twice for the Nintendo 3DS and the Nintendo Wii U. Plug the 3DS USB charging cable into the Wii U USB port, like so, and into the Nintendo 3DS. Put both the Wii U and the 3DS aside for now. Now this is where the fun begins. Grab the scissors, the sharpie, the masking tape, and the SD card, and the label sheet. Grab the SD card and outline it with the sharpie on the label sheet as shown. Once you're done, write Super Smash Bros. NX on the outline you just created, since it's very likely we'll see a port of Smash Bros. 4 for the Nintendo NX. Cut the extra white space, because honestly, you don't really need it unless if you want to make multiple NX games. Now, place it on the SD card where the previous label is. If you have any extra edges, cut it off and trim it with the scissors. Alright, just put it on, and... There we go, now we have an NX game cartridge. Awesome, right? Leave the game cartridge aside. Grab the 3DS that's connected to the USB cable and plug the USB cable right into the Wii U. And make sure it's powered on and all that good stuff with all the cables and stuff. Turn on the Wii U, then turn on the TV. Log on, and for this next step you need the Wii U gamepad. On the Wii U gamepad, hit internet browser, and then go to the search tab and search up Nintendo NX Menu. Search, and find a menu concept you like on the images. I like this one because it's very easy to access and it looks nice too. Once you found the image, click on it and zoom in on it as much as you can 
so it takes up 99 to 100 percent of the tv screen like that now you got an nx menu grab the sd card that you used earlier which has the smash bros nx logo and put it in the wii u now if it doesn't fit because of the label just don't try to shove it in like i did what i would do is pull it out of the system and grab the leg uh, label by like a corner or something and peel it off there you go now i know it's just going to be an sd card logo but there's nothing we can do if that happens to you anyways put it inside your wii u and grab your smash bros wii u copy put the physical version in the system if you have it or if you have it digitally launch it from the menu grab the wii remotes and then point it at the screen and then click on it depending on if you have the physical version or digital version i don't know once that loads turn on your 3ds and grab a copy of super smash bros for 3ds and place it in the 3ds system and then launch your smash bros ds uh, game and just ignore that menu pop up and let's see which menu loads faster Just wait, and the 3DS load faster. That's cool. Now, I know you might want to connect it to the Wii U, but don't do it yet, because if you do, yeah, you're gonna get a message like this, and you've probably already seen this before, but do not do this right now, because on the Wii U, you have to go to 3DS, I'm sorry if it jump cut it, but whatever, go on the 3DS section of the menu, and as you can see, now you see my Wii U on the 3DS and connect it. Now we're all connected. Now you have a handheld on a console, technically. Now I know it may just seem like a 3DS controller on a Wii U, but no matter if we're making an NX or not, the idea of doing this is really awesome. The amount of control options in Smash is just amazing. But enough of that shit chat. So yeah, now you could play as Cloud against Bayonetta or anyone like that at home with a handheld controller. Very similar to what the NX is going to do. And I'm just going to do a quick match on my own. Now, I don't want to show you guys the full match because they're like 2 minutes and the video is already 6 minutes long. And that's just being wasteful. So yeah, now... The match is over, Bayonetta 1, of course. And so yeah, now we're gonna make a handheld version because of all these super, these rumors that are saying it's gonna be a handheld console hybrid. So all you gotta do, it's very simple. Disconnect the 3DS from the Wii U, and it's like they're divorced now. Rip, rip, womp womp. Put that aside for now. Grab the Wii remotes, and then go back. And back, there you go, exit out of all the menus until you can finally go to the home menu and close the software. Wait for the jingle to happen, and take out your Smash Wii U game and put it back in the case if you like. And then on the 3DS, take the cable and disconnect it from the Wii U. Isn't that cool? You can use it as a actual charging cable if you like. I really like it, but put it aside. But yeah, now you got a quote-unquote NX handheld. So if you want to play Smash on the Wii U or the NX Home, you got that. But now you have the NX on the go. I don't know what they're going to call it. And it's pretty fun. So yeah. Now, you may be wondering, Zach, why don't you just use the Wii U gamepad? Well, if you have the Wii U on and you're far away, or if you have the Wii U off and the gamepad on, it's not going to work. So, it's more fun to make an Annex prototype, right? So, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more game-related content, and follow me on my Twitter account, Creeper, to be the first to be notified when new videos are coming out. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.